Oh dear. Everyone's laundry is still on the line. May I be excused to fetch it in? I'll catch up.
prepare yourself. This moment will be frozen in time. Maybe so soon. Ah! Ah! What's the hurry? Yeah. <laughs> 
As you wish. Feel free to look around. There's no obligation to buy. We're looking for the Leo volume of the Tavad Travel Guide. Do you have it in stock? Sorry, dear. We stopped stocking that a very long time ago. It just wasn't selling. Huh? But the Monster volume was so interesting! Bummer. The thing is, the author made it too personal, and the result wasn't really much of a guide. It barely sold any copies, and the few travelers that did buy it made complaints afterward. Well, that's a shame. The Mondstadt volume was a good read, even just as an adventurer's diary. The fact remains that I don't have it in stock. If you must read it, try your luck at Chang the Ninth's place. Who's Chang the Ninth? A book collector who lives in Qingse village. He's a complete grouch, but he will behave himself if the conversation is about books. He was a regular customer here back when he lived in Liyue Harbor, and I still send him the odd out-of-print book or two every now and then. Did somebody say out-of-print books? Is there a chance that Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd is also in his collection? Apologies, my liege. Where are my manners? My name is Sing Cho. A humble literature enthusiast who happened to be passing by. Since you and I are both in search of lost books, what say we travel together to Mount Qingse and pay a visit to Chang the Ninth? My pleasure, fellow book lover! Should we ask here if they have a copy of the Liu volume of the Tevet Travel Guide? It's super duper interesting! vision. We must rep
Hmm, such fair weather. Why don't we do a bit of sunny work? Oh, what sort of work is that, you ask? <laughs> well, anything that makes you feel bright and sunny, too. Disgrace to the night. Heavens are smiting me. Smiting me to smithereens. Uh-huh. And what do you want? Come on, spit it out. We've heard you've got tons of old books lying around, and we want to borrow the Leo e volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Huh. Don't get me started on the topic of my books. After the chasm was sealed off, the family mining business started going south. Then the Fatui started working to sabotage me. To pay off my debts, I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Every last book. Do you have any idea what that means? Wrong. That was my life's work. I devoted my entire life to curating, collecting, caring for them. And now they're gone. Gone, I tell you. <sighs> It's useless ranting and raving at you like this. 
All I can do is try to save enough Mora to buy them back. Unless you have other business here, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Off you go. Go on, go! Please tell me that you didn't pawn Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd. Legend of the Shattered Halberd? <laughs> there is a title I haven't heard in a long time. You have good taste, my boy. What? But we don't? That work was an epic defining masterpiece. Granted, it was almost unknown at the time it was published, but over time it was the work that came to define the genre of martial arts novels and sparked a plethora of imitation works. Barely any copies of the first edition were ever printed. The later edition inexplicably went out of print, almost as soon as it was released. A shame, given what it allegedly added to the original story. Yes, that's right, how did I forget? The original edition, sixth volume of that work is, is so rare, I could never bring myself to pawn it no matter how much I needed the money. You mean, you mean you still have it? Yes. It is my one and only remaining treasure. Hey, Chang. You've got some nerve keeping me and my boss waiting like this. I need an answer. Will you sell the Corlapis or not? I'm sure you don't need me to remind you that if you mess with Gentry Mautsai, you're messing with the Fatui. Oh, you again? But you know I can't afford to give a 70% discount on the price. I'd never be able to buy my collection back. That's your business. The question is, do you want your books, or do you want food on your plate? Perhaps you'd like to take your books with you to an early grave. <sighs> you... <sighs> Whoa there, friend. Come on. This gentleman is either willing to make a deal or he's not. You can't force him to sell against his will. Just who do you think you are? <laughs> Keep your nose out of other people's business. My liege, I am but one who comes to the aid of this gentleman in his moment of need. I am Tsingcho, disciple of the Guhua clan. <laughs> Guhua clan? Did you hear this clown? He thinks he's a Guhua master in this day and age. <laughs> Oh, there was me thinking the last granddads of Guhua had keeled over and died by now. <laughs> Who were you supposed to be then, huh? Some sort of Guhua messiah? Justice is blind to our backgrounds, my friend. That just makes me someone trying to do the right thing. But you? The weasel who does the tiger's bidding may be less powerful than his master, but he is no less guilty. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> just you wait. You'll be sorry you crossed me. And you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. <sighs> oh, how the wolves prey upon the fallen tiger. My days are numbered. So, just to come back to what we were talking about earlier, could I get a yay or nay about borrowing that book? Oh, what does it matter now? I can't expect anybody to care about me anymore. But since you did stick up for me, please just take this book and leave me in peace. Three long years I have waited for this day. Words cannot express my gratitude. I, Xingqiu, vow to repay this great act of generosity. All right, give it a rest. Just bring it back when you're finished. Sorry, but I'm not about to put my hopes in some self-professed Guhua disciple. Hey! Where are you going? We've still got a job to do over here!
Oh, you like reading, huh, Mr. Five Second Hero? Oh, amazing. I never saw that coming. Hello, Xingqiu? Anybody in there? No wonder this book is so highly sought after. <sighs> How can they bully poor old Ching the Ninth like this? Forcing him to sell his ore for dirt cheap? It's daylight robbery, pure and simple! Don't forget me. I'm in too. Oh, so now you can hear what we're saying. The reason I borrowed this book is that it would be a real pity if Chang the Ninth ended up having to pawn it. And I'm in every word I said to Chang the Ninth. I will return his act of kindness. It is the just thing to do. I will be custodian of this book, and I will also help find a way to buy back the rest of his collection. Of course I do. An initial plan, anyway. I still need to work out the details. Give me a second to reflect. It shan't take but a moment. You're still here? What is this, a game to you? You think no one's really gonna get hurt? <laughs> I gotta hand it to the goofball clan. What you lack in numbers and talent, you make up for in guts. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say goofball clan? I meant Guhua clan. <laughs> That's what you goofballs call it, right? <laughs> There's a saying that goes, the insect that shakes the oak tree ludicrously overestimates its ability. Uh, quit quoting proverbs at me, you buffoon! Please leave this place. I will not tolerate an attempt to coerce an honest traitor, especially when the one you seek to threaten is one to whom I owe a debt of gratitude. <sighs> it's cute that you want to stick your neck out for Chang and all, but you picked the wrong time, you little punk. I brought the Fatui to back me up. A whole army of you and your little Guhua buddies wouldn't be able to help you now. I may be young, my liege, but the path I have chosen makes me no stranger to conflict. Why should I cower in the face of evil? Oh, great speech. <laughs> but now it's time for you to learn your lesson. Are you here to play with me? Uh. <laughs> Over here! Time to act. <laughs> Let me amuse myself a little. <laughs> That was just a regular pendant you were wearing, not a vision! You won this round, but you better watch your back! This isn't over! Would it be too much to hope they've learned their lesson? Yes, though I try to avoid using it. I dislike the unfair advantage it gives me against my opponents. Though I long to restore Guhua to its former glory, it is no easy task. They've gone for now, but they'll be back looking to cause more trouble before long. I'll see to it that no harm comes to those who show me kindness. There is a just and unjust way to do business, and I will ensure the matter is resolved satisfactorily. It's not like the Fatui to pick sides in a business dispute, but the confident demeanor of their errand boy suggests there is substance to his words. There must be a deeper level of collusion at work here, he mentioned Gentry Maotai. I know this name. He has a stately residence in Liyue Harbor. Maybe the two of you could go and investigate. That idea works, but what are you gonna do? 
me? I have other things to look into. Let me see. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace in Liyue Harbor in a bit. You really have stuff to do? Are you sure you're not just using us as your errand runners? Wow. So that's how that turned out. This whole passage is just... extraordinary. Ugh. This guy is so annoying. Paimon just wants to slap him right in his stupid face. <laughs> Fine. But, as per tradition, Paimon gets to pick an ugly nickname for him. From now on, he shall be known as... Gua Geek! like running. Who goes there? Really? He didn't mention anything about a meeting. The Master's dealing with some urgent business today. All prior appointments have been cancelled. Urgent business? What is it? <sighs> the Master's been working on a major business deal recently. He left early this morning to meet with a VIP client. So, where is he now? I'm sorry. The Master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Uh, no, I, I, I mean, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. P please, believe me. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Master's currently in business negotiations at Shinya Kiosk. I, I beg for your mercy, please. My master will show me no leniency if he finds out. Well, my master has much more important things to do than talking to rude guards like you. Luckily for you, your bad attitude will be the last thing on his mind when he's busy negotiating a big business deal with your boss. Th thank you, thank you. May your business forever be blessed by the Lord of Geo. Nice work! Paimon never knew you were such a tough negotiator. Is that so? Now Paimon knows not to let your wily ways get the better of her in the future. Anyway, seems like the VIP client in question must be one of the Fatui. In that case, let's get ourselves over to the Shinue Kiosk. Seems business is booming at the Shinue Kiosk. No one should notice if we blend in there. But either way, if we want to know what kind of shady business they're up to, we better be careful. I understand. I do. 
Please do not worry. You have my word that the order will be completed as promised. Hmm. The subordinate I sent was not quite so optimistic in his appraisal. Is somebody being uncooperative? Uh, we just ran into a minor procurement problem, is all. We haven't managed to purchase the Core Lapis yet. But it's nothing for you to worry about. If Chang the Ninth won't sell, I can buy from someone else. That would be most ideal. I remind you again that the Fatui care only about the result. We are willing to lend a certain degree of support to this transaction. But if it is not completed in time, you may suddenly find our goodwill comes at a price you cannot afford. I understand. I am indebted to you for your protection. You know I would not dream of disappointing you, don't you? We shall see when the time comes. <laughs> Darn that old man, Chang. So, Mr. Gentry Mozai is colluding with the Fatui. Who knows if Gua Geek has made any progress? Should we go tell him? Bang! Yeah.